guidance is item 13 to consider authorizing the issuance of a proclamation honoring Congresswoman Anna Eshoo to be signed by all members of the board. And uh, to kick us off for this item, um, I know a lot of us have had uh, many wonderful experiences working with Congresswoman Eshoo, um, but I wanted to start by giving Supervisor McPherson a chance to talk about some of his. Thank you. Yeah, it's been uh, a long, I, I got to meet um, uh, Congresswoman Eshoo when uh, my first life as editor of the Santa Cruz Sentinel, and uh, we were talking about issues then, and who knew that 30 years later, plus, it, yeah, she'd still be there. But uh, thank heavens she has been, and the um, the reason that we're, we're recognizing her in particular today is that um, her district and the redistricting project uh, or process, um, she, we lost her. Um, and she is going to be centered in San Mateo County where, where she lives, but uh, we're, we're going to have a, a, an excellent Congressman, Jimmy Panetta, representing that area. But I can't say how much I appreciate her openness, and I know that whenever I visited Washington, D.C., she was there and she would spend time with you, as she has with all of her constituents, no matter where they be, in Santa Cruz County or elsewhere. And there's a couple of particular uh, projects that she really stepped up to the plate that I can recall. Um, when I was in the state legislature, she was very, very uh, active in promoting the Katoni Coast Dairies National Monument in Santa Cruz County. Uh, that was led by uh, then Assemblyman um, Fred Keeley, and then I was in the Senate, and we we just pushed that forward in the state level before she got on top of it and uh, really made it become a reality. And it's a f fantastic addition to our open space parks uh, uh, component here that we have in Santa Cruz County. Um, another one I, I just remember just more recently, she uh, attended things, she she pays attention to the local issues. And when Santa, Santa, Santa uh, Scotts Valley School District finally got its new uh, uh, school district building open, she was there and she always is there in those types of events. Uh, she has uh, just been a, a, a tremendous support for us. And more recently, and uh, in the tragedy of the CZU the lightning comp uh, fire lightning complex, she um, she was front and center there too in Washington D.C. and certainly in our district, uh, in our county within her district. So there, there's there's a lot more things that are going to be said so much about her and her dedicated effort to serve the public and do what she can do to help people uh, recover. Uh, to have a better opportunity, whether it be through education or experiencing park and open space opportunities in our county. Uh, Congressman Anna Eshoo has been there front and center for us time and time again. And we're gonna really miss her as a representative, uh, including Santa Cruz County. But um, we, we do have a, a, a great substitute in Jimmy Panetta. I know she'll say that too. But um, it's been just a tremendous privilege to uh, have been able to meet her and to, to work with her in various uh, uh, venues, whether it be in the state level or the county level, um, an issue has been a tremendous advocate for Santa Cruz County and getting a lot of, a lot of great benefits for our, our county. So I want to thank her, and I know a lot of there's more to be said, but uh, those are just a, f a few of the things that I can say that I recall vividly about how she has helped us time and time again. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor McPherson. Other board members, Super, uh, Supervisor Kennedy. Yes, I just want to take this moment and thank the Congresswoman for her efforts. Um, she represented the North Coast, and it's a very, very small percentage of her district in terms of population, but she was available for every single issue, big or small. She brought uh, the lens of a former county supervisor to it, which is always, uh, always makes it so much easier because she gets the issues on the ground. She fought for conditions in the National Monument Declaration that have never been in any other National Monument Declaration to respond to local concerns. And the last part is, uh, and I'm not sure if folks realize this, but the uh, during the CZU fires, when there were a, a real limit of re boots on the ground and resources on the ground, she went and got uh, the Bureau of Land Management's hand crew uh, deployed to Santa Cruz when there was competition for it to be deployed all across the state. Um, and that hand crew was there and fighting for Davenport through the night 
uh, for the first couple nights of the fire and the residents who are still there talk about these sort of missiles being launched into town and but for their efforts literally cutting uh, uh, fire breaks by hand uh, in the in the mountain behind Davenport. Um, I'm not sure Davenport would still be there or in the or look the same today. Um, and that was entirely due to the advocacy of Congresswoman Eshoo. Uh, she's been a great representative for the North Coast. I know she'll be a, a longtime friend of the North Coast uh, going forward. Um, but we just want to take this moment to make sure we recognize her commitment to public service, her commitment to this country. Um, while she worried about the local issues, she's also been a fierce fighter uh, for democracy, for good government um, at a time when um, all our institutions are under threat. Uh, she's kept, uh, she's, she's fought hard for this country and will continue to do so. And we're, uh, we've been honored to have her represent this, this community for so long. Thank you, Supervisor Kennedy. Supervisor Friend. Yes, Mr. Chair and Congresswoman, uh, thank you for always taking the time as both of them, both of my colleagues had already mentioned for each one of us. Every time we were in DC, uh, you were there to meet with us personally, offer remarkable unvarnished advice. And one thing that I always appreciated was that if I ever needed the truth, I could always get the truth from you, and I was always appreciative that you were advocating on our side. I was on, I was, I've sat in many meetings and been on every phone call and heard you advocate on behalf of our county uh, to federal agencies, and um, it definitely instilled a very healthy fear of you by me. <laughs> I was always glad that you were on our side because your advocacy is fierce and effective. And uh, I got to say, even in, in things like uh, some of the storm damage that we had that wasn't even in your district, uh, but was in my district and but a part of Santa Cruz County, to, to hear you call FEMA, to hear you call the Federal Highways Administration, to hear you just, I mean, unrelenting until they said that they would be out for a visit, unrelenting until you heard that they would start providing money. Uh, that is what effective advocacy is. And you're on the right side of history on all those things. And these things happen behind the scenes. You never get credit for any of this stuff, but people's lives have been impacted and improved in Santa Cruz County because of how strong of an advocate you are. I just want you to know that we all appreciate it. Our residents appreciate it. And people that don't even live in your district because of your advocacy appreciate it. So thank you, Congresswoman, for your remarkable representation and advocacy on behalf of Santa Cruz County. Thank you, Supervisor Friend. I'll just add, uh, while Congresswoman issues, the district overlaps mine with just, just one very small corner. I think I have more communication from Congresswoman issue than any other uh, federal official or representative. And so uh, you've been a true model in terms of both your communication with the public and your fellow elected officials. Uh, and it's clear from the testimony of my colleagues that you uh, have been just as fierce an advocate. So thank you, Congresswoman. I'd like to Mr. open up. Mr. Chair, can I just mention one thing? And I, I don't want to forget this, which is uh, Congresswoman Eshoo has an amazing staff. And uh, Karen Chapman has been uh, available to us at all times. Um, and uh, and uh, all of us elected officials do good and hard work, but it's our staff that often makes the difference uh, to our constituents. And I just want to take a moment and recognize uh, your staff that's always been available and amazing to work with. Now I'd like to open it to members of the public that would like to uh, share their comments. Hi, my name is James. I believe I first met Anna Ashu when she arrived. Um, I don't know if she still owns the seventh floor of a commercial, well, of a commercial residential building in San Francisco on Webster. I was uh, I was hired to cut out specialized fire bricks all through this remodel. Um, there were two elevators. One was for tenants. One was for staff. There were two um, sets of stairs. One was for tenants. One was for staff. I was staff. We were escorted in by security at eight o'clock, and we were escorted out by five. That was where I learned that when you to damage an elevator, it's not going up; it's going down. We moved out what ended up being over 140,000 pounds of bricks. So when I came in and did the specialized cutting, the engineers decided that it would be easier to take out all the bricks and, and gut this. So you're on the seventh floor in a commercial building that was built in 1917. The inspectors didn't come in. 
until the super until the superstructure was done. So we had completely cleared out the building. She had beautiful, uh, the seventh floor, beautiful sets of plans. She walked in and all she saw were two elevator chutes and two stair chutes. And she's like, hey, I had a lot more options here. So I don't know a whole lot about her political career. And I'll just say that, but uh, it was great to see a look of surprise on her face in 1998. Okay, thank you, Mr. Whitman. Are there other members of the public that wish to speak about the Congresswoman issue? I'm Nancy Macy, and I'm in tears because we all love Anna. Our little sound around the valley, and I'm uh, 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 a board member emeritus for the board for the Valley Women's Club. She has been to virtually every general meeting of the Valley Women's Club for years. I went door to door for Anna when she first ran with a baby on my back, passing out her video. She was creative, innovative from the beginning. We have nothing but good things to say. Thank you for honoring her. We're going to miss her. Bye. Thank you, Ms. Macy. Any other members of the public? Good morning. Uh, uh, my name's John Laird, and uh, I think I would say that in a land long ago and far, far away, uh, I was a city council member and Anna was a county supervisor. And your predecessors, along with she and her colleagues in six counties took oil mitigation money and turned it into an oil education program that really led the way on oil issues uh, up and down the coast in a very good way. And when Santa Cruz City adopted an ordinance and we tried to have other jurisdictions do it. I went and addressed the Monter uh, the Monterey, the San Mateo Board of Supervisors, met with her beforehand. They were just solidarity, arm in arm, and there's just this long history of work with everybody in this county. And as somebody that was a Democratic Party official when she ran the first time, I will never forget her pitch for get out the vote when she said, go to the door and Eleanor Roosevelt will be looking over your shoulder and John Kennedy will be looking over your shoulder and Martin Luther King will be looking over your shoulder. And if there's one thing that characterizes Anna, yes, uh, I worked with her secretary on the National Monument and I worked with her on the fire recovery and everything else, but she leads with her heart. And that heart uh, is what we feel and it's what our constituents feel and it's what drives her. And I just know that she won't totally go away. She will still be working with us on things. And so I think we should be grateful to have had her for a representative. And, uh, and I just want to join everybody in thanking her for outstanding representation of Santa Cruz County and our entire district. Thank you, Senator Laird. Hello, my name is Mark Stone. And as a constituent, Anna, I just want to say I was so thrilled when there was a previous redistricting and you ended up representing us in Santa Cruz County. And part of it was, I can remember times when you were on the intelligence community or a committee in Congress and she was fierce. And I think scared some of the folks in Washington to death when she got an issue and was unwilling to let something go and always advocated for what was best. And so here, someone on a national stage, and we've seen her, doesn't matter the corporation, whether it's PG&E or AT&T or anyone that we've been struggling with, willing to get on the phone and raise a, a, a little heck as necessary. But the thing that is so remarkable, Anna, about what you, who you are, and it, it just goes to the, the core and your set of values that even though she is so effective on a national stage and so effective in some of the most powerful boardrooms and, and people in the state, she would also, you would also always come out to a community meeting when we needed her to talk to 
everybody in the district. And I know we're not always as glamorous as Silicon Valley, but we have a strong sense of community in San Lorenzo Valley. And whether it was coming to Felton or to Boulder Creek to address issues, you were always willing to do that. Little Felton Grove needed a change to the tax code. And Anna got together with colleagues across the aisle in Congress and in similar disaster prone areas across the United States. And you got it done. You did something for folks who had never felt anyone was going to stand up for them. You stood up for them. And it is because of your heart and your kindness and your focus on every single constituent in your district that you bring that powerful voice to their aid every single time. And for that, as an elected official, as a constituent, I am so grateful. And you and your team, when I was on the Board of Supervisors, were always there for us, Karen. And even now in the legislature, you've always been a partner, always answered the phone, always been there for whatever our constituencies needed. And for that, we are all, all are eternally grateful. So John and I have, I'm not sure where your, your cameras are, a legislative resolution that, that we have signed. And the words on here, the words we would have, since it's an official state document, there are things we would have liked to have said that, of course, Ledge Council said, no, we, we couldn't say. Because, and so what's inherent in here is how much of a kick-ass legislator <laughs> you are. You never back down, always stand up for all of us and have made a tremendous difference for all. So on behalf of John and myself, we are presenting you with a legislative resolution saying thank you for all of your years representing. And when it says you do good things, no, it means you kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Go for Let's go. Yes. Thank you. Congresswoman <laughs> Eshoo, yeah, please, if you'd like a chance to share a few words. Oh, boy. Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, it's more than a pleasure to be with you uh, today uh, that you have chosen to do this uh, is really deeply, deeply meaningful to me. Uh, so to uh, you, Mr. Chairman, each member of the board, uh, I will, your words uh, will always remain with me. Uh, to the staff that's here and the work that you do day in and day out, uh, you have my deepest regard, respect, and gratitude for the work that you do for the people of Santa Cruz County. Uh, to my state colleagues, uh, John Laird and Mark Stone, uh, uh, we've worked uh, shoulder to shoulder for many, many years. And, uh, and with each one of you, these bonds are very strong and they run very deep. There are three words that mean everything to all of us. The first three words of our Constitution, we the people, we the people. For those of us that are so blessed and privileged uh, to hold elective office, we do uh, what we do with the trust that is placed in us, it's a sacred trust. And we don't stand apart from people. We are a part of them. And living out this trust that has been given to us is a high privilege. It's a high privilege. You have been very more than generous with your words. I don't know whether I deserve <laughs> all of uh, uh, that's been said. But I want you to know that the rep, my representation of parts of Santa Cruz County has been a blessing to me. The people have been a blessing. I've seen the resilience of the people 
in um, really challenging times, really challenging times. And over the last two years, everyone's life has been upended in some way, shape, or form. I think the biggest challenge is the challenge of defending our democracy, protecting our democracy. I think here at home in Santa Cruz County uh, that the people have done this and will continue to. The values of the people here have always been the wind beneath my sails. So we, again, that are privileged to hold office, uh, I think that there may be sometimes an over-exaggeration uh, of us. We draw our strength from the people, and you have sustained me. You have sustained me in all of these undertakings, whether it's been creating a national monument, but really in the toughest of times, whether it's been the pandemic, floods, the CZU fire, uh, all of those challenges. Here in Santa Cruz County, uh, challenges represent opportunities. They represent opportunities to get the job done together. We, the people. You will always be in the center of my heart. Uh, and as long as God gives me breath, and especially in elective office, you will always have me as part of the team. I know that, and you know, that you're going to be in good hands uh, with Jimmy Panetta. But know that you'll have two members. <laughs> you'll have two members just plugging away and uh, representing uh, really one of the most beautiful communities uh, that one could ever be a part of. Uh, you've made me a part of it. The people have. And how grateful I am for that. I'm deeply touched uh, by your remarks, um, the privilege of uh, and the honor of Anna Eshoo Day in Santa, Santa Cruz County. I can't wait to call my children <laughs> and, uh, and tell them that, uh, uh, that you have passed a resolution. So uh, I look forward to, uh, you know, to the uh, trails ahead. Uh, I will always be there by your side. Thank you for this enormous honor. You can tell that I'm deeply, deeply touched by it. And to all of the staff of the county, all of the staff of the uh, county, uh, you are thoroughbred professionals. And uh, one of them, of course, uh, was your uh, registrar of voters and on her way to the state legislature. How proud we are of Gail, uh, the representation that she has given here, and uh, she's going to take all of that uh, Santa Cruz professionalism with her to the state legislature. So as you um, are uh, heaping all of this praise, I have something for you. Uh, I have uh, our beautiful flag, of our nation that was flown over the Capitol in honor of the people of Santa Cruz County to present to you. Uh, this is a uh, certificate that said it actually happened. And um, uh, there it is for you. Uh, let it uh, uh, fly um, celebrating our democracy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.